Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas Have you been practicing anything on your own? No, I just tried that fashion one, which is before you saw me. I tried that one. Mm-hmm. Only that one. I'm, I'm looking for this course, uh, reading and writing. So let's begin. Uh, we are going to start with this text in here. That is a UK degree worth the financial cost for international students. The tip for this section is this, that always start with fill in the blanks. What are you supposed to start with? Fill in mm-hmm. the blanks. Because that takes a lot of your time. But once you've done that, you can easily solve 6 to 10 and also one to six right this is so, hardest for me this is for uh, this is hardest for you okay yeah, ma'am. let's try to go through it and i think you guys are smart all of you guys so i will show you the text and i'll also show you the question and you will you will do it by yourself first once you're done then i will discuss the answers with you you will share your answers secretly with me on whatsapp you will not tell uh, anyone the answers okay so usually for this reading test you have one hour but i think you must do you must have 10 minutes for each part of the question either it's fill in the blanks 10 minutes for which statement is true which statement is false and uh 10 minutes for the first one But because this is hard and this takes most of your time, you can give 15 minutes to this one in case somebody is lost for true, which statement is true. Because because you do this, that task gets easier. You can even solve it within seven to eight minutes. And the last one becomes the easiest for you. You can also do it within five minutes, right? So you can distribute your time like this. Let's start with fill in the blanks. This is your information. You guys have 10 to 15 minutes to solve it and share your answers with me on WhatsApp. Long text reading. Question. 15 minutes for this five question, ma'am. If you can do it earlier, that would be all right. But please take your time because if you will spend more time on this, you can solve six to 10 very easily and even one to six very easily. Your time begins now. I think because of my bad connection, sorry, I need to share the screen again. I think it would be nicer if you guys t- can take a photo of this because uh, if the meeting will be disconnected, at least you can do your work. Okay, I have received these answers. How many people are done with their fill in the blanks? Send you in WhatsApp. Ma'am, I also send the... Uh... Uh, please share only me, not with everyone. So only me. Uh, what's that? What's your name? Suman. Suman, reshare only me. Okay, ma'am. Okay, uh, let's try to go through the answers now. So, Dharti, as you solved first, I would like to ask you to read statement 11 and then tell me where's the answer. UK universities are known that blank as well as for the way subject taught. Hmm. In paragraph one, hmm. the UK is the second most popular destination for international third level students after the US experts suggest this popularity is because of the good name UK universities have for hmm. their excellent teaching, meta and learning facilities. Hmm. Anyone else who has the same answer? Please tell me. Learning facilities, excellent, uh, excellent teaching methods. Uh, Amrit, Amrit, what's your answer? Excellent teaching methods and learning facilities. No more than three words are allowed. No more than three words. Ruma, what's your answer? Excellent teaching method. Hmm. So what do you think? Why do why have you chosen this answer, Amrit? Um, because uh, excellent teaching methods and learning facilities, UK is. Uh... Mm. 
Read the lines. Okay. Hmm. Experts suggest this of, of uh, popularity is because of the good name UK universities have for their excellent teaching methods and learning facilities. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. And uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Uh, another uh, what, do you, what do you say? Uh, what do you say? What's the name of the other person? Uh, Ruma, what's your answer, beautiful? Ruma, beautiful. What's your uh, answer? 11. 11, yeah. Excellent uh, teaching method. Mm -hmm. No, that's not correct. If still you have an opportunity after they ex they have explained, what would you like to choose as your answer? Learning facility. Learning facilities with an S definitely is the correct answer. Okay? Learning facilities. How many people got this correct? Uh, me. Okay. Anyone else who got it wrong? Me also. Mm -hmm. I'm, wrong. I'm, I'm wrong. My answer is I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Moving further. What's the answer for 12th? Rent. 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 Who has written? Greatest expenses is accommodation. International. I written international. Beautiful. The average international students have to pay is around average international have to pay average what? What is five thousand? What is the, what is five thousand pounds? What is it? Great, greatest expenses. Greatest expenses. Mm -hmm. is, no. is it around five thousand? The average uh, rent, rent students have rent. to pay is around five thousand pounds each year. Rent each year. The average accommodation students have to pay no. The average rent. The word is given rent. there, right? Rent. Um, Dirty, read it for them. The average blank students have to pay is around five thousand each year. You yeah. might wonder in paragraph three, you might wonder how the second figure can be so high, but when you think about it, costs quickly add up the, the greatest expense is accommodation with yearly rent around five thousand. So uh I don't know why you're choosing this, but you need to understand the find the keyword five thousand. What's the keyword? Five thousand. Five thousand. So then you find the word average, have to pay around 5,000. You find the word around 5,000. And what is 5,000? Yearly means each year, right? So the rent, right? The average rent students have to pay is around 5,000 each year. The word that you have to put in the blank is usually very closely mentioned to the words which are mentioned in the blank, like 5,000 around 5,000 yearly means each year. What do you think? It's not correct if you say the, the average greatest expense students have to pay is accommodation. You have to choose the correct word. Although all these words identify this very word that is rent, right? With the yearly rent, with the yearly rent, understand this. They are asking us about each year. Understand it? Yearly rent. Further, um, what is your answer for 13th, please? Major, Major cities. Major cities. Everybody had, had it correct? Can you read it? Where is the answer? In paragraph three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Around 5,000, then three, four, full, full loaded by personal items such as clothing, then driver, travel, leisure, and household goods. So it really isn't hard to see how students find 
then says spending approximately 12,000 in total on living costs alone. And mm -hmm. this is just the average cost in major cities. It tends to be much more rent in London. Students living in blank as London, such as, this is the example of what? A mega city, a major city. Major? City. Cities. That's yes, right. Okay, and what about learning facilities? Okay, now fourteenth, uh, please. Shorter. Three. Three. Three years. Normally, uh, uh, UK three courses are normally blank years long. How many years long? Three years. Three. Read it. Where, where did you read it? Paragraph four. Hmm. Second line. Hmm. Read. On the other hand, most UK degrees are a yearly year shorter than U US ones. This means you are usually paying for three instead of four years study. Mm, this means you're usually paying for three instead of four years. Saving one year's expenses. UK means... degree courses are normally... No, how long are the courses? You yes. are paying four years. Courses are... Four year long, right? But expenses are paid for three years. Do you understand? You can save on one year's expense. So what should be the answer in here? UK degree courses are normally four years long. That's why saving one year's expense instead of four years. This means you are usually paying. We're not talking about paying. We're talking about UK degree courses are normally how long are they? Right or wrong? What's your answer, everyone? Three years. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Four years. Four years. Anyone uh, else with the correct answer besides uh, UK degrees are a year shorter than US. On the other hand, most UK degrees that that is none of your concern. Your concern is this means you are usually paying for three instead of four years study, saving, uh, oh, apologies, you're right. Everyone with the answer three is correct because the first line tells uh, that UK de uh, yes. degree courses are normally one year shorter, apologies. Yes, this is correct, three years. Ruma, your answer is wrong. Thank you for identifying. No, no. My first answer is three. Yeah, you, you changed it. Okay, so it's always nice to read one line but above it sense. as well, because I only read the line where the answer was, right? That this means you're usually paying for three years, saving one year's expense, but the real answer was on the line that was mentioned above. That's correct. Three is correct. Fifteenth. Yes, yes ma'am. Fifteen is the earn more. Earn more. Earn more. Hmm. Paragraph 5. Okay, read. So it is worth traveling to the UK for third level study. Uh, the short answer is yes, on average, you will earn more and have a better job than you friends who stay at home. Who else would tell me what's on, so? Earn um, more. Get on better average, job. You will earn more. No, because um, get better job, um, money can't be correct. Because money, for money, on, you need to find the on high, on earn high money. more. Earn more is correct. What is correct? Earn um, more. Earn more. Um, earn more. Um, right? Good job. So how many answers did you get correct? And here we have three years. My parents have three. And, and here we have earn more. My Who wrote jobs? Because it can never be. Money is either earned or, you know, you would say pay more money or earn more money. 
And it's even given in the uh, paragraph five very clearly. What's your score, Ruma? My five. Score three. And what about My you? Five. Oh, fantastic. And what about you, Krista? Only two for today. Okay. Uh, I'm My gonna... score is two, but uh, uh, other answer so <laughs> little bit correct. Listen, two passing marks. Anyone with two marks right now has passed this section. Suman, what about you? None of them, ma'am, because I need to try this one. But first time I'm doing this one, so I'm confused about this. Okay, I will okay. I'll try to no, don't worry. It's okay. If you will not understand, I will do a full test with you again tomorrow. Because uh, we are here for a long period. They'll be gone by 17th. They just have two more days, right? Two okay. or three days. But I think so. We are here till 24th. So I'm sure we'll get plenty of time to do it on our own as well. Because I don't have uh, this kind of any courses. I only saw in online some of them, but it's already done. So they have I will give you answered. one. I will give you one uh, paragraph for homework, okay? You will, oh, then you will try it yourself. And if you will not understand, then I will explain it. Okay, ma'am. It's okay. Now we're going to move to the next part quickly. And in the next, yeah. We have to just three words in answer. No more than three words. It's given on top. Write a word, phrase, or number in the space provided. Maximum three words. No more than three words. Give it a cake today. Ma'am, one question. All answer in different uh, in paragraph. We, we can find uh, all answer, answer in paragraph. Mostly, mostly if you could see when they were solving. Answer. Uh, answers are in a sequence. Can you see? There's a sequence to it. You could see that it started from top, the 11, and then it started coming down till 5. Can you see that? Yeah, ma'am. And we always use keywords. Like from here, we use the word UK University, known for their way subjects are taught. Right, so you can find yeah. the word subject somewhere and around the blank, you can read that, right? And then you found the word 5,000 pounds and quickly you can read around it and get your word. Then such as London, you could find the word London quickly somewhere here, right? Yeah. Uh, here, so London example, such as, this is the meaning of it. So around that, you could find your main uh, missing word also. UK degrees, uh, years long, how long? Like this person already found it for me. Amrit, Amrit said UK degrees. I found the keyword. I read around the lines and I found the answer. International students who graduate from me will usually blank money. Okay, so international students term, you can definitely find here. Um, where Education was it? Better quality throughout. Better, yeah. But you're working. Yes. Oh, very so. Right. Now because if you badly go into Okay, you more. Uh, Roma, could you guide me? Where was that information mentioned? No, it's here. Yeah. It's here, international students. A huge uh, international students who graduate from UK universities will usually blank huge difference, especially when you consider the yearly cost of study. Uh, and paragraph living. five. Okay. Mm. Second line. Second line. We can also find the word friends and home country. On average, you will uh, earn more and have a better job than your friends. Can you see the word friends in here? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. stayed at home means your home country. Um, also, also mentioned in the first paragraph, paragraph, last line. No, it can't be you like can this. It, it is always in a sequence. If you will do it like this, you will be lost. Okay, all the uh, one by one, ma'am. One question, one paragraph like this. But he's right. But, it, but it's also, mentioned also in here, international students graduating from UK universities are more likely to get better jobs and earn higher and salaries. Higher. Meaning is same. But right? then That's those right. who studied at home. But then the word is not friends is not mentioned in here. So that's why we need to refer to some closer words in here. Right? It's much better that you refer. Otherwise, see, if you will keep on uh, referring to wrong synonyms, you might get a wrong word in the blank too. Isn't it? Yes. So a little bit, do you understand? So yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next task is going to be a piece of cake for everyone. 
This task is out of eight false statements, you need to pick the correct statement. Okay, so let's try to solve this one. Which one, ma'am? This six to ten or six to ten? Hold on, let me take a photo. Uh, now we'll solve six to ten first. Okay, now you have uh, it in front of you. It's time for you to find me. Out of these eight statements, which ones are true? You can send your answers to me directly on WhatsApp. This is so easy. This is extremely easy. All right, I think I've received your answers. Anyone else who's done? Yes, I'm done. All right, and besides that? I also already sent them. Okay, received. Uh, everyone is done? If yes, then we'll start the discussion. Ready? Uh, Suman, read yes, read A and tell me if it's true or false. If yes, where it is mentioned. UK degree are normally shorter than US degree. No, it's, it's false. false. Oh no, it's false. UK degrees are normally shorter in length than US degrees. Is that true or false? It's true. It's true. True, it is true, and it is mentioned four, in paragraph four. 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 That's correct. Yeah. A is correct. Yeah. Absolutely correct. Okay, what do you guys think about accommodation in London usually costs around £1,400 more than in rest of the UK? It's true as well. It's mentioning... Well, mm -hmm. False, ma'am. False. Why do you uh, think it's false? Oh. It's the London is higher for or something more than in the rest of the UK. Accommodation in London usually costs around 1,400 more than oh. in the rest of the UK. And this is just the average cost. In major cities, it tends to be much more. Rent in London, for example, is around 1,400 a year. Higher than average for the rest of the country. This is true. Yeah, yes. that's true. Can you guys see that? It is rent in London is around tends yeah. to be much more. Tends to be much more. Much more. Can you see that? In London, it is 1,400 a year higher than average of the rest of the country, right? In rest of the country, probably it's lower. Maybe it's 1,000 or 800. Right, or maybe 1100. You understand? Yeah, B is correct, everyone. If you have written B as wrong, you will not get one mark. Next one the writer suggests you will definitely make more money if you study in the UK instead of your home country. Is that true, true or false? True, true. Why do you think it is true, please? In paragraph five, in the last paragraph. You will earn more. The writer suggests that you will definitely make more money if you study in the UK instead of your home country. It's true. So it is worth traveling to UK for third level study. The short answer is yes. On average, you earn more money and have a better job than your friends who stayed at home. This will help you pay off your loans and you uh, you had to take out to cover the cost of your education and should mean a better quality of life throughout your working years. However, however, it is a is it's a very big risk. If you do badly, get poor grades or find life in the UK hard to deal with, your adventure abroad will be very very expensive mistake. 
So writer suggests you definitely make more money if you study in the UK instead of your home country. It's not a definite thing. You know, he's saying it depends on the experience of a person. If it's a bad experience, then it's expensive. If it is a good experience, then you can earn more money. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. C is not true because the writer suggests you will definitely know. He's not sure. He's not sure. He's saying it's a big risk. He's not saying definitely you can. You understand me? So C is not true. What do you guys think about D? More international students study in the UK than in the US. It's false. Yes, false. yes because more students study in the US. Yes. All right. Uh, then this is also false. Moving further. International students. International students in London have to pay more than 12,000 a year in living costs. It's true. True, true ma'am. Okay, what do you guys think about F? It costs a lot more false. to live and study in the US for one year than in the UK. This is definitely false. False, false ma'am. Okay, the quality of teaching in UK universities is considered very high. True. Is it true? True. What do you guys think about on average international students in the UK pay about 12,000 pounds in study costs true. and another 12,000 in living costs? Is true. that true or false? No, it's true. True. That is true. So your answers are A, B, E, C, and H. G. G, yeah, G. I think A. You can write in any order, everyone. You can even start with H, E, G, B, any order. Okay? You can write in any order. But if you've written all these letters, this means you will get your marks. What's your score? My score is four, man. Everybody, uh, Rishta and uh, Dharti, what's your score, beautiful? Four. Two. My two. Why? How is it possible? No. Five beautiful. It's so easy. I think you need yeah. to read a little bit closer. Anyone else? Two yeah. passing marks though, but you can't get two correct. Three must be correct. My score is four. Hmm. All right, further now. We are going to move to the next part. Mm. This is also very easy, this part. You just need to tell me in which paragraph what information is mentioned. We can even do it together. Let's let's do it together, I believe. Mm. All right. So according to you guys, uh what which paragraph talks about the cost of studying in the UK for international students? Very easy. Which paragraph, paragraph talks three. about the cost? Paragraph three. Paragraph three. Can I write it in here? Yes, I can. So it is A in here. Paragraph three. Uh, yeah, paragraph. Apologies. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, which one talks about? Whether or not it's a good idea to study in the UK. Which paragraph talks about this? Is it five? Last Whether it, yes. Which one? Which one do you say? Five. Five? Anyone else? With a different idea? Yes. Five. Hmm. Yeah, because uh, not being certain and whether or not it's a good idea to study in the UK. Right? So we can put B in here. What do you guys think about why a lot of international students choose to choose uh, students choose the UK? Paragraph one. Paragraph one. Mm, why do you think so? Because the excellent teaching method and learning facilities. Better good job, better job. Hi, that is correct. That is correct. We're going to write C in here. Okay. And uh, which paragraph talks about why the U.S. is cheaper? 
then the UK for international students. Oh my God. This is, uh, well, I think it is, do you think it's extra, extra, extra ma'am? It is extra, extra. Yeah. extra, extra. Okay, all right. Yeah. That's nobody's talking about this for sure. Okay. Which paragraph tells about what students have to pay for apart from study costs? Paragraph two. Hmm? Apart paragraph from, two. besides study costs, whatever they have to do around the same time. Okay. First one, and it was and there. Yeah. Okay. E. <clears throat> Are you guys sure? Which paragraph talks paragraph about? No. I think paragraph third. Paragraph third. Because they oh, mentioned, they mentioned uh, about the living cost, food, travels. I think besides the four, study. study. See, first one seems to be correct because that is C, right? Yeah. Second one also, second one seems to be incorrect, I believe. You guys need to read a little bit closely and then tell me. First one is correct. Like uh, what a lot of international students choose, why a lot of international students choose to study in the UK. That is C for sure. Um, the cost of study in the UK for international students, it's paragraph two. Can you see that? But the big question for students thinking about studying in the UK is how much does it all cost? Understand it. Can you see that? The cost of studying in the UK, not just accommodation. Yes, ma'am. Yes. The answer, unfortunately, is a lot. The average cost of study for it, cost of study yeah. is even given in here. Cost of study for international students is under twelve thousand pounds. Twelve thousand pounds. Yeah. What is this? This the answer. Let's try to erase this and put it up again. Mm, this one, the first one is C. I consider it. Mm, okay. The second one is A, I believe. Yeah. Because the cost of studying in the UK, it's given very clearly in paragraph number two. Yeah. Then what do you guys think about why I'll, this, this one is done? Whether or not it's a good idea to study in the UK. That is B. This is also correct. Now we need to find E and F. What students have to pay for apart from the study? Apart from the study means other expenses like travel, leisure, mm. clothing, personal items, you know, food. These yeah. are others besides the cost of study. Yeah. Paragraph three. Paragraph three. Paragraph three. Paragraph three. Yep. And last one, uh, which paragraph talks about why the cost of study in the UK might not be as expensive as it looks? Paragraph four. Paragraph four. Paragraph four. Okay. Understand it? Yes. Easy, easy or not? <laughs> Is this easy, guys? Yes, one easy. This is called long text sometime, reading. Sometimes confused. So, no problem, no issues at all. Okay, now I think we should call it a day for today, and we will meet hopefully tomorrow, and we will start because you know multi text reading and multi text writing it takes time, you know, because we have to solve reading also, and then we have to write as well. So I think we should do it tomorrow. Okay. Let's call it a day for today and we will solve multi-text reading and writing tomorrow together, right? Thank you so much. I shall be taking your leave now. I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Thank you. Any questions about long text reading? Ma'am, you, uh, you, you said you, you will give me homework for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want some paragraph because I want to practice. This ground is open for you here on their official website, okay? For today, okay. Uh, I can send you the link. You can practice um, open paper one, okay? If you would like, we will get time. Okay. Just um, solve for me this first paragraph that is about sleep. 
Okay. Mm, okay. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. And yeah. then we will solve multi text reading together tomorrow. Right? Um, whatever question, question number one to 15. Hmm. Sorry. Come again. What if, what type of question from um, question number one to 15? Fill in the blanks. No. What? One to 15, ma'am. This is match the title. This is also reading. You just solved it. Mm -hmm. I have one what? question. Yes. Yeah, okay. If I answer one, one, one to ten is correct, five, five. Hmm. And if all wrong in filling blanks, so I will pass or not? No. Okay. R look, they have divided. Uh, wait, I'll show you. How do you get marks for reading? I'll show you. They have the criteria that you must. Can you see this person? In reading, you get marks for reading carefully for details. Out of meaning, this is actually for fill in the blanks. Look, he got full marks. In. But this is for facts, like which statement is true. He got less marks in this, right? Maybe two were wrong, right? And in here, also main idea two were wrong. But here he got maximum required marks to pass, fill in the blank. So that's why the person gave him highly skilled in this area. This one skilled in this area. So if you get like more practice required, you fail. Okay. Now, when it comes to multi-text reading, the passing criteria is pretty much the same. It is the first question. This is question. Okay, this is question 11 to 5. This is 6 to 10, and this is 11 to 15. Understand? Yes, yeah. ma'am. So we, if you will fall short in here also, or maybe in here also, you must have passing marks like that, okay? So minimum okay. Uh, getting uh, in each section is important. Okay. Hmm. And this, of, uh, writing. Look for this one. Uh, this one, uh, look, he did not get enough for uh, fill in the blanks of multi-text reading, but got full marks for uh, idea and which statement is true and which one is true, right? So overall is still a pass. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Not merit, not excellent, no nothing. So that means his, after doing all of this still, he, he, he just got 15 out of 30. Yeah. If Mom, he can was for 18, 18, 19 or above, that would have been a merit, you know? Oh, okay. Out of 30? Out of 30. Okay. And uh, after that, if you would just want to have a look at uh, writing, writing marks are given based on this criteria. Uh, number one, mm, I think we'll go with extended writing first. Look, the marks are given for task fulfillment, answering the questions fully and appropriately. Okay, task fulfillment, when I say understand the question, understand it fully and appropriately. Answer it, all aspects of the question, do not miss any aspect. Organization and structure, when you learn firstly, secondly, thirdly, that's the part of it. Organizing your te text logically, clearly and presenting your writing appropriately. Third is for language control, using appropriate grammar and vocabulary. Okay, so you can see that uh, probably he missed on some important aspect of the question that he did not explain, right? He made mistakes with spelling and grammar. That's why he got less. And in here, probably he did not... Uh, arrange his Organize. ideas logically and practically right so presenting them oh uh, yeah so do you understand yeah ma'am they have given the criteria very clearly everywhere on their report cards and everywhere what do you need and what you do not need but he did very good in listening ma'am i think so he got distinction because he got full marks in that first section you know where you play uh, examiner asks asks you six questions he answered all of them correctly Understand it? Yep. 
Thank you. I shall be taking your leave. I hope so. We'll meet tomorrow with multi-text reading and writing because that is something that takes a lot of time. Thank you. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye.